the Red Scapular, 1847, Pope Pius IX, Rome. In a rescript dated June 25, 1847, Pope Pius IX gave his approval to a new red scapular called the Scapular of the Passion of Our Lord and of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. This red scapular revealed in a series of apparitions of Our Lord to Sister Apolline and Revaux of the Sisters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul from July 26, 1846 to the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. September 14, 1846 was the answer of Our Lord to the prayer of His Blessed Mother. One Sunday evening I was making the Stations of the Cross, Sister Apolline says of the origin of the scapular, when at the thirteenth station, it seemed to me that Our Blessed Lady placed the body of Our Divine Lord in my arms saying as she did so, the world is drawing down ruin upon itself because it never thinks of the Passion of Jesus Christ. Do your utmost to bring it to meditate thereon, to bring about its salvation. In 1833 at the age of 23 just three years after the apparitions of Mary Immaculate to St. Catherine Labor, Sister Apolline entered the community of the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul. Upon receiving the habit she was sent to St. John's at Troyes where she was stationed for 38 years, visiting the poor and the sick and caring for the chapel. It was there in the presence of the Holy Eucharist that our Lord bestowed on her great graces that would draw so many souls to Him. When these extraordinary graces accompanied by trials and sufferings were first given her about the beginning of the year 1845, her retreat master advised her to send an exact account of her soul to the very reverend Father Eddie and Superior General of the Congregation of the Priests of the Mission and of the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul. Thus began a long correspondence which was made known to the Holy Father and used for his approbation of the Red Scapular. While in the chapel on the evening of the octave of the feast of St. Vincent de Paul July 26, 1846, I saw or rather thought I saw our blessed Lord clad in a long red robe and blue mantle. Oh, love of Jesus Christ how you filled my poor heart at that moment. Oh how beautiful he was. It was no longer the painful expression the sorrowful face worn with suffering that I had seen in Palette's Hall a few days before during Mass. It was beauty itself. In his right hand he held a scapular upon which was a crucifix surrounded by those instruments of the Passion which caused his sacred humanity to suffer most. I read about the crucifix. Holy Passion of T. Our Lord Jesus Christ protect us. At the other end of the red woolen braid was a picture of the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary the one surrounded with thorns, the other pierced by a lance and both surmounted by a cross. The other panel of the scapular back contained in part the same sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary which appeared on the back of the miraculous medal above the hearts was a cross, below were two angels similar to those on the front side. Jesus shows himself to us on the cross. He manifests his sacred heart with that of his Immaculate Mother to touch our heart hearts and thus in a manner of speaking, force us lovingly to fender love for love. He desires us to wear the scapular in remembrance of his love for us. He exposes to our view the different instruments of his passion to teach us how to meditate upon his many sufferings. By this daily remembrance we come to understand that the disciple cannot be treated better than his master and that if we hope to share the joys of his glory we must first share his bitterness and humiliations in suffering. Confidence. When Father Etienne went to Rome in 1847, he made known to the Holy Father all the details regarding the apparitions to Sister Apolline. Pope Pius IX gave his approval to the scapular of the Passion. Unity. The last of the red scapular apparitions to Sister Apolline took place just five days before the one and only apparition of Our Lady of La Salette, September 19, 1846. It was 16 years after the momentous miraculous medal series of apparitions to Saint Cahar in labor. The green scapular apparitions had taken place in 1840 to Sister Justine Basquet Baru of the same community as St. Catherine and Sister Apolline. There was a marvelous unity about them all. Investiture and the scapular of the Passion is no longer required. The graces depend upon the faith and confidence of the wearer.
It is necessary for people to understand that they are powerless to stay the torrent of public evils and to heal the cruel diseases that anger the life of society and that the most efficacious means for bringing about their real cure is a sincere return to the religious practices of our forefathers and above all an abundant participation in the treasures of the merits of the passion of Jesus Christ. All those who wear this scapular, said our Lord to Sister Apolline, shall receive every Friday an increase of faith, hope and charity, with ecclesiastical approbation. Holy Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ save us. Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary protect us. Amen.